use this video to talk about the pin and slot joint in Autodesk Fusion 360. This joint gives people a lot of trouble, so I'd like to go over some of the basics. Let's review my assembly first. I have two fixed mounts that cannot move. I have one on a slider that can move back and forth. I have two slotted bars. They're both the same six inch of slot from center to center. This one, the green one, was, was actually sketched at right angles to the XY axis, and the red one was not. You'll see why that comes in in a few seconds. Let's place the first joint on the green slotted bar between this pin and the movable pin. So I pick on joints and pin and slot. Now you're using joint origins of course and the joint origins must be on the same plane. For example that one and that one will not work. They must be on the same plane. Pick that and then I'll go over and pick. By the way you notice I picked the pin first and I'll pick on that center. Notice the pin's moving along the slot. This is because this particular slot was drawn perpendicular to the X, Y axis. I'll say OK. Now let's do the other one. Remember, pin first. Pick there. And I'll pick the center. Sometimes hard to get. There it is right there. And again, it animates along the axis. Say OK. So now, notice it moved the free the block, but now if I move, you'll see that the pin is not respecting the length of the slot. We now have to limit the length of the travel in the slot. So expand your joints, and let's do the first one. We want to edit joint limits. Now if you zoom up, you can probably see that it is moving this way, and I want to do the slide and the maximum and minimum I want to set. Now the zero is the minimum and the maximum, that's a six inch slot, I'm just going to make it two. And notice it moves down two inches. That's inches of course, that's what the inch units in this assembly are. Now I say that. Now if I move that you notice it will not go past zero and it will not go past two. Let's do the same thing to the opposite end. Right click on that Edit Joint Limits. Now this will probably be reversed. Let's go to Slide. I'm not interested in Revolve. Minimum and Maximum. Now at zero, if I animate, you'll see that it's not doing a thing. It's at zero. So if I put down here another two, it's going the wrong way. So I need to make that a negative two. But it's a minimum. So minus two up here and zero down here. You can animate it to check it out. So again, it's two on each end. Say OK. Now as you can see, if I move this, it only goes two inches in on either end and it only allows it to move a certain distance. If I have it here, you see I can move it. It goes up to two inches there. Now if I had made that less than two inches, it would not actually go past center. Now let's place the red one on this pin and this one. And again, you start with the pin. I'm going to put it at the midpoint of the, the origin at the midpoint of the uh, pin. So I'm going to do the same thing. Joint, capture position, pin and, pin and slot. Starting on the pin, I'm going to find the midpoint origin. And then I'm going to pick on the top right there. Now, notice this is going in a different direction because this was not modeled square to the x and y axis, I need to change the slide from x to custom. And then pick on this edge or this edge, it doesn't matter, to give it a direction. If you animate, you see it now follows the slot. So it's a custom direction. Say OK. Now we need to put the other one on. Notice it's gone to the midpoint origin. I'll just repeat. And I'll pick on this midpoint origin and this one. And again, the same problem because the way it was modeled, I need to change this to custom and pick on the actual edge. You can animate it to check yourself and say OK. Now the same thing occurs here. Notice that it goes past the limit. So I need to set my limits up. 
So I'll do the uh, first one. Edit my limits. So it's sometimes hard to check the positive directions, so you might have to experiment. Minimum and maximum. Uh, the minimum in this case is zero. I'm going to make it again two. You can animate it to check. Say OK. Now we'll go to the other one. And I want to edit the limits there also. Again, it's a slide. It'll probably be reversed, so I'm going to go ahead and do it automatically. I'm going to say minus two and zero. Animate it to check. And say OK. Now, if we move the center block, you'll see it's restricted to the motion and the limits of the slots, it pins in the slots. It only goes so far. Okay, now I want to talk about a couple things. If your origins are not on the same plane, we just mentioned a while ago, it will not constrain correctly. If you need an extra origin, don't forget you can make joint origins anytime you want, just by simply picking and moving it to a different level. So you can make new joint origins if you need to. Also, you can use parameters inside joints. I go to my parameter table. You see I have one called joint limit one. It's four inches. I'm going to apply that just one of my limits just to show you I can drive the limit. I'll pick on this first one. Right click and go to limits. And on my slide, on the maximum, I can actually type J, J to pick up the joint limit and it becomes the value which was four inches from the parameter table. So you can change things quickly using that method. I hope you have learned a little bit about pin and slot joints, especially how you get custom directions. Thanks for watching.